Hi, I'm Nick Riley and in this video we're going to have a look at range orders. When you trade and once you've actually entered a position you'll need to think about how you get out not just for profit but also for your stop loss. A range order can accommodate both of those uh, specific exit points in one order. Very easy to put on. You currently see that I'm in JP Morgan, I'm long 500 shares moving around a little bit and you can see in the chart above it's not looking great at the moment so the overall flow of the trade is upwards however I need to make sure that I have a profit target and the stop loss so that I can move away from my system and let the trade either go to my profit or stop me out for a specified loss so I'm going to go come to my order box you'll know so I've got 500 so I need to type in 500. The next thing I need to do is I need to click on the drop down for the ECNs. I need to go to ARCA S. ARCA is the ECN, S is the stop function. So I'm going to click on this. Once I'm happy, the way I would get rid of a long position is obviously to sell it out. So the first thing I'm going to do after I've checked that everything's OK, JP Morgan. JP Morgan Chase 500 which is the amount I'm currently long and I'm going to click sell. You click on OK and you'll see in the drop down it has market. I want to actually click this drop down and choose range. It now gives me a low price and a high price because I'm long the share my high price is going to be my profit target. I entered this trade at 39.84. I want to try and lock in profits at a higher price. So let's say I'm prepared to get out of the trade at 39.99. However, I also want to put a stop loss order in. So given that my price for purchase of the shares was 39.84, my stop loss in this instance is going to be below the purchase price and I'm going to enter 39.75 so now I'm happy with where my stop is I'm happy where my uh, profit target is I'm going to click OK and you'll see that I still have the trade on but I now have an order with, which will accommodate both my profit target and my stop loss so if the price of JP Morgan goes up to 39.99 what I'm going to do is automate my system so that as it trades at that price I will sell the shares if however the stock comes back off again I will automatically be stopped out if I wanted to do this for a short trade and I'm just going to type a random stock in so estee lauder trade direction is down it's just however starting to find legs so let's go short anyway and I'm going to short sell 200 I'm going to do this as a market order so here we go you notice in my account manager I'm now short 200 shares of estee lauder at 58.45 so the first thing I need to do is think about what my exit is for a profit and there you go I've just been triggered out on JP Morgan and if we go back to JP Morgan you'll see that the stock is reaching a high and back in the order box we'll see that uh, 39.99s have traded the high is 40 so automatically it triggered as soon as the market went to that price now with the short I still want to have exactly the same mechanism so I'm going to insure myself against loss with my stop loss but I'm also going to put a profit target in so let's go back to Estee Lauder now I have my trade on all I need to do is go to ARCA S and I now want to be in a position where I would buy back if I want to exit the trade so click on buy again you'll see the caution box click on OK 
I want to select range this time however my low is going to be my profit target so for the low I'm going to choose 58.25 that's my profit target 20 points below where I've short sold it and my high price is going to be my stop so let's say again we'll use 20 points or 20 cents above the entry price 58.65 click on OK and you'll now see I have an order in which will accommodate both a stop loss and my profit target for a short trade